Um, let's go. What's happening, everybody? Ben's over here. We got JP Longmore here with wow. us today. We got Mr. Labradorite over there having a nice little spin. Let's see everybody. How you doing today, JP? I'm doing all right. Got some burgers on the grill. Oh, fantastic. I got a turkey breast in the oven. It is 81 degrees, and the AC still ain't in the window. I'm just trying to keep it cool in here. Yeah, so That's we've got cool. a, a hello to our rock, rock, rock hound friends here. We got Megan. Oh, he is one of the features today. We got some nice mail we're going to get into. I was in Chris Roberts. He likes rocks. Chris Roberts rocks. That's right. What's going on? All the chat is rolling. We got Joey Brown. What's going on, Joey? Everybody had a nice little. Everybody safe? Everybody check it out. Make safe the sales. Ben, oh, welcome. Good to see you. She writes rocks a lot too. That's got JP in here in the chat cast. Welcome, Rich. Howdy, fam. Howdy, Rich. Good to see you. Good to see you. I didn't miss anybody. I'm trying to go get with David Alphonse City Art. Cool. Oh, Eric Carter. It is. Cool. I know the rock shows aren't so popular on Sunday afternoons, a weird time, but hey, we're going to have some fun in here today. Y'all can make it. We'll see how many people show up. Smash that like on your way in because uh, we do a lot more over here than you, than you than I show. I need to show more. So we got going on the channel. Let's do a channel update situation. Channel's doing good. I've been putting more content. <coughs> if you are lucky enough to be one of my Patreons, you got a special video today of a director's cut. You might think they're late, but hey, they're more... Uh, casual more intimate you get to see more what's really going on up there a lot of stuff that i edit out when i do the youtube video and it'll be coming out sometime this week it'll be really short now i got some other stuff out there some shorts hey a3 how's it going man let's see it let's see it <laughs> mm. so we got cool mail calls here um Another thing, the channel is doing well. Ooh, I added a lot of black sand to this thing. We got some weight. Before, it was just a little bit of black sand. I just kept adding gold, gold, gold. But remember, I made this a couple years ago. <laughs> and so, gold, 5K can. I was a little ambitious about it. I thought maybe after I hit 1,500, 2,000 that I was going to start going a little faster like other people. But it just didn't happen like that. No, well. But we're still doing it. Like that. Ooh, we got a little spillage here. Oh. Get a, I don't have a thing right here. So what I have here is some. Uh, every time I pull the black sand out of that magnet, boom. Every time a uh, little black sand's left over, just boom, and I add an extra tenth to it. So every now and then I just add a little bit more gold. Oh, oh, and that's some fine gold. It's some magnetic gold. It's some powder gold. But it's a tenth. There's just more gold out of this thing. And whoever gets this, this is going to be one of the hardest things to pan out ever. Because not only is it mostly just black sands and some other horrible stuff like that, it's gold. So much gold. And there's some flakes and there's some chunks and some nuggets. And there was some wild there's gold. Flower. <laughs> it's full. I mean, about, about this much black sand in it now. 
And this is a Yeti that the creek provided to me. I was, I was like, I need to find something to start to use as a key. And uh, the next time I went to the creek, this was over there floating in the brush in the creek. It was pretty cool. It just had water in it. Chili me grilling. Dan, what's going on? Remember, many <coughs> months. Holy <coughs> some flies. You can be a member too. It's just two bucks a month. And uh, you get those really cool things. And every now and then, it's not a regular monthly give back, but I do give back to the members. I had one uh, about six weeks ago. It was a pretty nice give back to. Very nice to back. Considering I just get a dollar. <laughs> so got this 5k cannon. It's still rocking. And we're still adding gold and other treasures to it. And it's already got it's got a little bag attached to it with some silver in it already. A few pieces, a few coins, some cool stuff. That's already attached to it as well. So there's gold and silver. And there might be a couple other things already been dropped in there. But before it's done, believe you me, it will be full. When it's all before it shipped, wherever it goes, we'll find out. It might be another year and a half, but I'm getting close to that 3,500 mark. Hit that subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. I don't know why you ain't, because all we do is find gold and talk about treasure. And the other thing you can do is share this out on the platform. I guess everybody does Facebook, but I don't do Facebook. I guess I need to do Facebook. So it's place. What's happening? Good to see you. So, uh, mail calls. So, that's the channel update. We're doing good. 5K can still in effect, and it's going to be going out somebody. I'd estimate there's five grams of gold already in this. And I've been saying, I said three grams for a long time, and then eventually I said, well, I might as well just start saying five. And so, I, if I had to guess how much was in it, I'd guarantee there was five. I wouldn't speculate about the rest. I don't know how you can pay them. But whoever gets them, I can't many times. That's a really cool thing to do it over here at the Man's Shack. Coming up this week, this Wednesday, this past week, all those, everything shipped. Unless I'm planning on meeting you in person, hand delivering your stuff, and you give me a thumbs up on that, or you told me just hold it, it's all shipped. It's on the way. We had a first time winner on the Gold Fam tier, Nancy. Congratulations. It's another big bag. Nancy is on the street. I got me a big bag right here. And this is what we're going to be doing this Wednesday. Vendetta's Arizona Salad 2 gram bag. Let me show you. Look how blue this is. You can just see the turquoise out of it. And I've, I've heard that the gold is gnarly. Like there's all, all types from large to micro. All, all size of gold. I've heard there's a bunch of stuff in it. It's not so fun at times. So it might take the whole show to go through this one because I've heard this is a, a pretty hard bag. And I'm looking forward to that challenge. So I'm definitely going to classify this out. Mm, maybe three classifications. We'll find out. And then just take my time with it. Not sluice it. I just pet it. I got clean water. Sneaked the water and cleaned it and I got all the concentrates over there. Trying to think of what I need to do with them. Probably need to rerun them, but most of it was just pan. I had to run the machine. I probably should set the machine up. I flushed it though. Um, when you flush your cons, that that means I just uh, I ran the mud out. You know, you put water in it, and you pour it, and you just keep flushing until you have clean cons. You get some paint or bags, you dump them out. And there ain't a speck of dust or a hint of color to it. It's just pure, clean, black sands. Sometimes it's that way. But uh, even uh, out in the wild, when you when you run your sluice box and you clean your sluice box out, you, you're still recovering mud in your pan, especially when you're in the blue rock. Was that blue rock? It just can it just continues to break down. You'll never you'll never not muddy up your pan when you got a, a pan full of blue rock chips because they're just breaking down in the pan you just gotta wash them out. we got a big bag other mail call sneak peeks coming up to this wednesday not only do we have the arizona bag we got some other sneak peeks oh. 
We got some other things that's going to be going on Wednesday, so that's the teaser. But today, we have this. And I also have a couple special rocks set aside, other than this awesome labradorite, which has you all mesmerized. I'm waiting for the flash to come back around. I know. It's like, it's going to do it again. It's like flashes four different times. It's got the main flash, the secondary flash, and then you see like this, this sheen flash. It's like these little micro little pellets all over, little white, like silver sheen to it. And then you got this cracked up, crackle looking flash that's happening right now. I got this big heavy box here. I was told it was rocks. So I was waiting until the rock showed up. And inside, check it out, Mega Dog! Mega Dog! For the win! Oh, get the bottom box. Very nice. Very nice. Don't you see that? The wasp attacking you? It was a stink bug. Oh. Right there. I'll see my I did. I saw it on the instant replay. <laughs> He's up there on that white. He's looking at me. <laughs> Alright, bag one. Oh, I got a nice new bag. Yeah, so we'll in the box. Yeah. First off, we got some copper rounds here. Very nice, very nice. We'll have to put it on the microscope to see what's really on it. Ooh, what's that? All right, slap it right. These times has come. We'll slide you aside. I'm going to jack this up even more. Get it in focus. Slide back. And oh, wow. Hey, Park Rat. Hey, Pat, what's happening? Oh, that looks nice. The silver shield. Uh, Whoa. Nice. Oh, wow. Check that one out. Oh, that's nice. Well, I want to get him out of the house. We can. Oh, he flew away. Ah, oh, I almost had him out. Damn. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go, though? I thought he landed on me when I thought so far into the trash can. That's where you belong, buddy. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's another really cool one. Now, that is wicked cool. That that's nice. That's super cool. That's a nice challenge one. Man. And this other one's quite pretty as well. But this check this one. American Prospector. LVDF ounce. Y'all know about that, right? So, you know, silver and gold are always in Troy. It's, you know, like international law everywhere. For some reason, it looked like twos, didn't it? I was like, what? <laughs> Why does that look like deuces? All right, I'm getting that. But, other metals, LVDF, it's pretty much the 28.6 ounce. So if you weigh these, they won't weigh 31 like gold. Oh, that is a really pretty coin. Though. I love the eagle on the back. USA. In the front, it's a prospector. But this uh, this miners go deeper. Now, that's, that's something else right there. Heavy! Hey Terry, hey, he snuck in. How you doing, man? There's a uh it's like one of those little balls that you get from a vending machine. Yeah, I can't tell what's in it though. Like a ducky. Quack, quack. <laughs> As a rubber ducky. Uh, I 
I first saw it, I thought it was a little Ola. <laughs> oh, he don't stand. But he's fun. You throw him around. That's great. He go in my duck collection. <laughs> it's funny. He's kind of bouncy, sticky little duck. <laughs> what do you do with that? Now we got this awesome box. Box for Benza. Where's my patriotic pocket tool? Flashing your pain, what's happening, man? You doing good? I thought it was gonna open when I did that. Didn't. Okay, tricky box. This way. Yeah, that would be oh my goodness. What's up? Heavy? Oh, Flash in your pan. Pop door. What is that? The rear light. Pop a really orange. Sounds like church. Wow. I don't have enough light to really see what's going on, but it's literally completely full of rocks. Oh. Yeah, let me show you this. This is what I... <laughs> oh, darn. Yeah, that was old, old dang is right. I know some weight in there, but uh, it is like slap full. And these are already like uh, tumble size and the type of stuff that you want to tumble. There's so much in here already. Whoa. We got quartz, pink quartz. Hmm. I feel better lighter. We got some obsidian. That miner's a uh, good deeper coin. That's, yeah, that's a pretty cool coin. Right, that's a special one. And this is, I've got a couple called Prospector Rounds. But this one seems different. The back is definitely different with the eagle. I don't know if I've seen one. All right, let's start looking at some of these. Obsidian oh, looks like them in here. Oh, they're all dusty. They've just been uh, traveled. Let's see if I can identify all these rocks. This is a rainbow moonstone. Look at that. Oh, dang, it's got that. Pink bug bounced off me. <laughs> Wish him right now, but he would just bomb me. I hate that. Um, I'm, I'm turning around like this because it's rainbow moonstone, and we might catch some flash somewhere. I don't know if this one, not all of them have flash, but there could be a little flash somewhere in this. It is a uh, filled spar. Oh, you see a little blue there in the corner? Saw it. A little blue showing up, a little blue flash in there. Yeah. It this does work better wet. There's MJ Mini here. Okay. This is a light pink quartz. I guess some other quartz. This is uh, perfectly broke down already. It's ready for a tumble. Ready for a tumble. Uh, another nice obsidian. Okay. Um Green. All you have to do is basically separate them by hardness and throw them in the thumb water, huh? So we got this green. Um, it was a little chalky. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard. Just, uh, yeah, we did it again. Is he by, that by me on purpose? No, no, no. Oh. I'm being totally attacked over here. 
<laughs> it's like I came on. It's too dark for me to see the damn thing. He just bombed me like three times in a row. Mm -hmm. Stop. Did he go out? I don't know. I don't hear him. He might have went towards <laughs> that light when I opened it. But he was like on my neck. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Crazy ass beat bucks. Look at my phone. Yeah. Oh, now I'm like a dog. Ooh. Just squish it. And then the Adventuring. whole place will stink. Adventuring. I could. I'm not scared of anything. I'm just trying to avoid getting stink bombs. Then you have to go and bathe. Now, this is where I, I fall off the boat because there's all these different types of jaspers and agates and things. I don't know all their names. The tip of that is kind of yellowish. Let me check some of this stuff. Let's uh, move this one over here and see. Make this bigger here. I mean, if I need to refocus things here. Let me see the texture of that. Some yellowish in there. Oh, that's got some weight to it. Coral, like tourmaline, I would say. You got some lines when we do this. Looks like a book. Probably too nice. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the stuff that looks like marble, looks like calcite, and every time you see it in the book, the specimen pieces look like orange calcite, but there's white and black little crystals, and I can never remember the name of this stuff, I got a big chunk of it, sitting on the front porch, office house, but, um, I can't remember the name of it. And it always looks the same. It seems like, whoa, this is a mixture of this, this, and this. No. Oh, that's going to tumble nice. That might be some kind of mossy or mossy agate of some sort. See, that's where I get lost on agates, because uh, every year they just find, oh, this little pocket looks a little different. We're going to call it something different. Wow, oh, that's pretty. That looks like marble. I think that's marble a piece of banded marble this goes from a peachy on the either ends is peachy in the center is like a green green streak running through Ooh. well it's more purpley really oh wow i'm gonna see if i can get some of the dust off this one bring some color out got something different color Looks like that jade stuff, right? Mm -hmm. This looks like fuchsite. Oh wow! There's a nice. We'll save this one. We'll save that for last because that's that's like that's the best thing on it for sure, right there. Oh, yeah. Here's some of that. Uh, we'll turn the light on in this one. Get through to this, the natural. Do natural. Where's it at? There we go. Get a little backlighting. Do that stone. Kind of a. Kind of a green ferny agate of some sort, maybe. I don't know. There's just so many agates out there. Hmm. 
little sparkly rock. That's pretty cool. All right. I feel like the micro pyrites and crystals and such. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool though. I don't think you want to tumble that one. Maybe more palm grease. Check that out. Is that if that if that's Unakai, then I've never seen it that that way. That shit was just a yes because it has all the markings of Unikai, but it's the the opposite ratio. Usually, it's mostly that green with a little bit of that peach and pink. But you know, I guess it could be pockets where it's the opposite. Nice words here. Let's get tell it. That's pretty cool. Stain? No, that's citrine. It's natural citrine. Natural citrine right there. Okay. All right. Is this a broken artifact? I mean, broken artifact? Or is it a mineral specimen? Very cool. Ooh, what's this? Calcite. Some banding going on there. Calcite polishes up pretty easily, too. Oh, there's a big old chunk of calcite, looks like. Very nice. Very cool. Can't tell what's going on with this rock. The device is on. Let's see if there's anything in the microscope. Oh, it looks a little different. It might just look white. My hand is dusty. I'm seeing some of the pink coming through. It's on that edge there. You know, crystal. This one. This one. It uh, it sounds like a dinosaur bone. Whoa. Almost probably. What's that? That's right. That's my wood. That's a, that looks like a piece of wood from that or angled on it. Boy, is it singing. Here. Feel singing. All right, we're getting down to the bottom of the box. We have a couple of larger pieces. I feel like I only dip them in water. If I dip them in water, like something would happen to these pieces. Maybe. I don't know. Shatter points on this. A little smoky. And a little something else going on through there. We got this one. Same material. I don't know exactly what this is. There's several of these in the box. So. But I know you want to see. Oh. Wait a minute. That's making me think of dolomite. It's pink stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I know you want to see that one. 
And uh, this is a, a, a nice size piece too. Let me clean that edge up. Um, I'm gonna be able to probably gonna need to cut that uh, end off, and then I'm gonna get some nice cuts out of this. But this is a really nice piece. This is what you call tiger iron. Oh, look at that! So it's jaspers and hematites and tiger's eye layered. And this piece right here is going to produce some fantastic pieces of Mega Dog with the red. When you have that, there's pieces with a lot of red and they're not that great looking because there's not the contrast. The contrast makes it better. So when you have that dark black line as well, it's important. You see, I see it there. And you've got the red. And then you have some down here. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to slab out nice and make some pieces. And you get a piece back of that because that's that's the that's the booty of the box is what I call it. You know, it's the prize piece, and it's gonna take a while, but you'll get one. You know, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks, Mega Dog. I appreciate going through that box, and they will be used. And wait a minute, something snuck by. What is that? Oh, but yes, yeah, still thank you. That set aside early. So most of the light shining through it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. It's got a crust to it. Cornelian. Hello. Good to see you, Cornelian. I remember I recognize you now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite rocks. Just usually don't see it in this form. Really cool. I might just have to do a face polish on that piece for real. Looks good. Yeah, just got polish it. that front face. And it's got that back nodule there. You can use it as a kickstand. And it stands up on its own like that. Boom. And it works. Now, I'll, I'll work on that front. I'll work on that face there on the bottom to help it kickstand back and then polish that. But yeah, that's going to look good. Yeah, it will. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I brought something out of the vault as well to share. Um, make a little space here. Put it up there. We will do this one. It's three things and bonus points to anybody can name any of the three things. Lights going. Let's get the motor going. Let's make sure you can see all three things. Well, I'm, I'm back as far as it goes. Oh, there's a horse. Yep, there's one. It, and it's weird to see. It's it's really a smoky. They're smoky, little smoky points. But it's weird to see quartz with this because it's like two opposite things growing beside each other. It's like, well, that's weird. we got to get that third one in view. Some nice facets in there. Look at them pop. Let's flip the stone over. You know, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's got these black, delicate blades running through it. Well. It's been a theme tonight. I've, I've kind of showed a few feldspars for a, a hint. And you would think it is a tourmaline, but no. And this is Colorado. Y'all want to know uh, location. This is Colorado. Uh, 
I doubt it. I doubt it's gold. But it's Colorado. The white base is orthoclase. And it's got the smoky quartz. But those weird black non-terminated fracture crystals that don't that look fractured but they're not that's how they break um oh orthoclase with azurine that 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 seems like the right word somebody google orthoclase with azurine and see if it looks like that <laughs> a-g-e-r-i-n-e Maybe I should do it. Uh, it's hard to keep all those names, these rocks, especially if you only pull them out and look at them and talk about them every couple of years. Is that yellow stuff dirt on there? Problem. Covered. I got to keep them in a closed cupboard. No. And I got a nice little piece of, uh, all right. Let's check out the other sides. Let's see what, see what the, the crystal shapes. Oh, what's that dark piece there? Like this. Oh, still the same. You like you can see through it from this angle, huh? Go at the bottom, flip it over. Oh, very cute. Azurine on orthoclase with smoky cords. Oh, thank you, Carson. We've been working on it. Here we go. Oh. We got a fingerprint. You don't see that fingerprint on there, boy? It stood out, didn't it? <laughs> We're going to end with something pretty, pretty. Muscle shell. That muscle shell. And it was pretty crystal. Bugs back. Isn't that just a wicked crystal? I'm pretty sure everybody in the chat's a rock hound muscle show. Rock hounds for the win. Yeah, I like to go out and uh, lick. Oh, oh, okay. One more thing. Uh, when out oh. is it dry? There it is. Sorry about all those false stops there. I think my coffee's wearing off. But I was out digging. Boy, right, look at that. So what we're looking at right now is a. Uh, a natural piece of fluorite crystal is just a pure singular crystal and it's it's mostly kind of clear blue with a little bit of purple running through it and when you hit it with the black light boy, it goes completely opaque um you can't tell and it's got too many other lights on it anyway but boy it just turns kind of white so let's blow me up that looks good though, don't it? Yes. Over time for this. Okay, let's see if we get any sparkles on this. There it is. So it came out of the ground like this. It was much dirtier. And then when it flipped out, I was like, oh, look at a little crystal. I kind of was sitting on the side of it, cleaning it up. And I, I was sitting there having my lunch and stuff, and I took a really good look at it, washed it up a little bit, and 
boy is it heavy it is a heavy guy and it's got these um see it's definitely a quartz base that's no no doubt about it but this whole nodule up through here it's weird see these these nodules they seem different and they seem heavy the whole thing seems heavy and the shape of these crystals themselves i'm no expert are less than that shape of quartz and more of the shape of topaz because topaz have that oh. flat top and they're tapered at the ends and when i started looking at it and down you can see some crystals that look like quartz in a cluster or two but there are some areas on this back side where you're seeing the same oh here it is where you're seeing the same type of flat crystal protrude i need that massive to show up it's got that topaz shape and i've never found topaz in that area I didn't know it was possible there there it is i can get that flat no because quartz have a particular shape when they're crystal so it was topaz and it's not the same shape and it's kind of flat on top and bottom and kind of almost like a squished octahedron tapered on the ends but not really like a true point usually so i'm going to clean it up even more this is after the first treatment and you can still see some rocks and mud embedded in the stone and i'm going to put it in this whole situation to put it on a microscope and you can tell that it was from the creek because when it dries all the corners on this thing are busted and raw and edgy and moving Ratchy. It'll be the first time I've had a look at it like this as well. Get a little touch closer. That's an odd focal point, it seems. Focus better. So just a quartz crystal and it it grew this way to a termination and that broke off. All this material just seems a little bit off the quartz and, and the weight's off. And you know, topaz is quite denser and heavier than the quartz. And, but there's multiple crystals on this piece that that's all you see is that shape coming off. And it's all on that top area. So I'm going to do another treatment and try to record a time lapse short of. Uh, you know all the treatments and cleanings and stuff on, on this little journey with this stone see if i figure out what it is because yeah it's another mystery and a great treasure i've never found topaz in my county now gold mercury lead pyrite quartz artifacts you know, dolomite chalcedony Maybe even a little garnet chip. That's about it. Not too bad. Oh, petrified wood. Can't forget about petrified wood. I got some pretty awesome pieces of petrified wood. Anybody want any petrified wood? Look them up. Erase most of them. Yeah, that's <clears throat> Yeah, if it's illegal to take from, from from protected areas, that's for sure. That petrified wood, because that's when you start getting into valuable petrified wood, because they have the opalized out there, and the, like what they call like the rainbow petrified wood with all the colors in it. What I find is really only worth something as a, a whole specimen. Is there's they don't cut or slab or work that well or can't do too much with them you know, when it comes to that there's not a lot of character trivia <laughs> well you don't mess with them so. <laughs> right Even these little crystals aren't really like looking like quartz around them. 
so I need to take a wire brush to it. But boy, it did travel down the creek a little bit, so maybe just all the tips are busted off of it. But this this is the nodule I'm saying just just don't look right, just don't feel right. It's the colors off. It seems and it kind of looks melted. That's the big one again. That whole it's a whole crystal mass. So it might shine through there. Now that kind of looks like quartz down in there. I'll look like that. Below that, see so here's that top nodule, and below that all of a sudden it looks like quartz. Yeah, it is odd. This backside is definitely quartz. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, I still need some treatment. We got mud and maybe I should pan out what comes off this rock. <laughs> Look at that hole. What's in that? It's still got little pocket holes full of clay and rocks and such. Yeah. That's cool. All right, checklist. I sent it. <laughs> Thanks again, the Mega Doll. That was an awesome box. And there was a few rocks in there that really got me excited, dude. I ain't lying. They were. Up on there got me super excited about getting a little work on them and polish them. They're all beautiful. They all have a probably a unique background. There's a few of things in there that were just uh kind of in the same area. Good for that. Huge finds in jail time. Yeah, you don't want to be uh you don't even, I don't even go to state parks because I can't not pick up a rock. <laughs> it's just, that's just the void of, <laughs> no, nah, I can't pick up a rock there. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, I only go where I'm allowed because I'm going to pick up a rock. Yeah. There's a lot of protected areas. Yeah. That's for sure. But then I still think I can go downtown Charlotte and find some gold. That's the plan. The more I look at this rock, the more, the more it kind of changes of what it could be or what it is. The more I look at it, the more pinky, purple, peachy kind of turns. Oh my God. How long have we been live? We've only been live 48 minutes. Wow. We need to make it an hour. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. We went through the box. We got mail calls. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, I could announce it. AMG. Right. Yep, there's a, the next, uh, the next batch of bricks is being processed at the moment in the curing stage. So be on the lookout for that. It's a limited batch of 10. to have extra half gram nuggets for the nugget chase two out of ten so that's pretty good so be on the lookout for that no we didn't cut the egg should we cut the egg all right well you you let me spin it MJ, you let me take a spinny. Well, MJ, you, you got to call in. Yeah. Where you at? <laughs> I got to give her a link. I, was, I can't tell somebody to call and ask them where they at when I never hit them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
right, let's see what I got here. Let's let's mix it back up. You can change. I forgot you can change it without dropping it. I'm gonna go. I gotta keep three buttons and then edit. And let's switch one. <clears throat> Oh yeah, there was two more crystals in there treated too. I forgot about those. I gotta take and moving the wire makes it cut out. They cut out on it. Whoa. One of the rocks that Muscle Shell has broken down and polished is worth over many, many thousands of dollars. Sweet. What's up, Gold Squad in the house? Just prospecting. We're going to cut that thunder egg. Is that what, what's going on? Oh, it's not my birthday, Gold Squad. It was Guido's birthday yesterday. I was having a birthday last night for Guido. Yeah. Not my birthday, Cass. <laughs> Guido's birthday. Yay! Hey, he's working. Yeah, kind of right. All right, uh, a quick spinny, and then I will be back to send it. It's going to be awesome. Is that the Thunder Egg right there? Right there, look at that. Look at that. So I wonder what it's gonna look like inside. Does anybody else know what it's gonna look like inside? <coughs> What's up, Swifty?
All right. Check it out. See some lines going across this way. It almost looks like it's. I don't know if doing the hard cut is going to be easier. Or be better. This looks like it'd be a hard cut. I got no rattle on it. I don't think there's going to be. This is a thunder egg. So there's it's not intended to be a, a cavern. Uh, cavity on it. Let's see. I see a couple different colors. If I cut through there, that might be looks like the easiest cut. It might turn out nice, but I think it's going to look better if I cut this way. So I'll probably uh, mute the mute the microphone. I got to put water in it. Bring it back. What's up? What's up? MJ! Fucked my finger up pretty good today. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. I'm trying to pop my little trailer hitch onto my truck, and it, uh, the little tongue underneath wasn't like opening it up. So I put my finger in there to push it, and it snapped down, and I, I'm going to lose my whole nail, pretty sure. Oh, ouch. <laughs> it split all the way, all the way across the finger. It hurts like son of a bitch. Thomas, 907. What's going on, dude? So, Thomas. All right, this is a little extra light here. All right, I want to mute out because uh, unless you want to hear the machine. Mm. JB, can you mute me? Yeah. All right, meet me after it gets going. Let's see how loud it is. Probably gonna be real loud. Am I glitching or are you glitching? Uh, it's it's that camera. Did you find this, MJ? No, I bought it from the rock shop up in Liberty. Oh, okay. I have a few more. I just didn't know where I put them, and now I lost them again. Oh. But they're like from the 70s she has in a bin. Somebody gave to her. She said that were found oh. in the 70s, and I'm going to send them to Benzo, too. Right, 
So is this, is this gonna take, how long is this gonna take, Benzo? Does it just depend? Maybe he can't hear us. This is not that loud. What's up, Brad Welch? Hey, Brad. Uh, Mary, I don't know if you want to. What do you, what do you want to bring it for, Mary? Love Metallica, Chris. That's right, Cass. It'll take a minute. I think we're about a third of the way through, maybe. I have a feeling I might know what that looks like on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> I have half the one sitting around here somewhere. I think it's the same, same type of geo. What are you doing? Well, bad boy for life. For life. Hi, Miss JP. Hi. Hi. Don't you choose. You choose. Unless you want to walk them over there. I need shoes. Mm -hmm. Halfway, it looks like. What's up, Chris Roberts? Home Zoo. What's up, Dan? It might take a minute mm -hmm. or 12. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably pretty solid inside. No hollow. Oh. Uh, Did you get all your farm chores done? I mowed the lawn, picked up a bunch of crap out of my yard, and I smashed the shit out of my finger, so I quit. Mm. That's going to leave a mark, huh? Oh, yeah. it's. I'm going to lose over half that nail. It's, mm. it's, split wide, it's split wide open. I'm afraid to take my Band-Aid off and look at it. Mm. It, was, it was bleeding pretty good. That was actually right before I mowed the lawn, but I... Needed to get that grass cut. It's like 80 degrees right now. It's a pretty warm day. It's going to be 85, I think, Thursday, right? And then 65 next week. Need to get all my hoses set back up so I can water my front lawns. Back half my property is just dirt and tumbleweeds, so I don't have to worry about that much. 
But the uh, weeds are starting to take over my front lawn. I'm gonna do something about that. Almost through. Right, make sure you hit the like button. If you like seeing this rock stuff. It's, it's getting there, getting there. Uh. It's been windy down here the last three days. Brad Welch got a new lawnmower. Sweet. What'd you get? Time for the reveal. Oh, yeah. Just what I thought it looked like. Let's see if I can. I it looks like a ninja dude. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it's just like this one. <laughs> Looks like what? Are they all the same? Oh, okay. So they're they're a little different. Yeah. Got this one for you, but this one's gonna have to cut it very gently. I'm pretty sure this has got a bunch of little crystals inside it. Yeah, I might have to pull the tiles all out for that one. But yeah. uh that top on this one, that's a cavity at the top of that. Oh, yeah. The inside of this one's going to look like That's this. Funny bread. <laughs> and then these ones, I have no idea. But they're from somebody found them in the 70s. I'm going to send all these to you so you can cut them. These ones are solid, though. They're heavy. Like running a weed whacker, tingling afterwards. I can kind of see into this one. It's got some water lines in it. So it's got a chunk out of it already. Sweet. Chunk it. I'll try to send those to you next week. Out here. That's Sunday. <laughs> Sunday and I got the turtle. Ninja turtles. Huh? Does kind of look like a turtle. Sweet, I'm. I'm glad I hopped on there and seen you had a show and make it cut that. Yeah, it was fun. Eagle with a bandana. <laughs> Is that a, just a white line on top of it right before the void? Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Let's get in That's there. Rough. 
I think these ones are local to, to this area, like Natchez, Washington. I'm not sure though. There's a little plug in that hole. They went to Marysville. Why? Uh, because I had to make them glue this trailer feed. So they can get out of the house. Yeah, you just got to do that first cut and then loosen up because that's why you buy the guides. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holding that thing and it pushing back, you know. He ain't pushing on it hard, but it's pushing back. It's been a while since I, it's been a while since I free handed one of those. I was like, that's taking longer than I wanted. <laughs> my hands are getting tight. I'm going to dig out my towel, so I have no idea where it's at. Just push through. Just deal with it. That's why I was like, it's, it's like, I put one finger up. I was like, is that thing even working? Am I frozen? I put one finger up. I was like, oh, damn, it's working. <laughs> yeah, it's working. And it wasn't that loud either. Oh, yeah? No. Yeah, if the background uh, filters, you know, tune out the background stuff, it'll, it almost takes it out completely. Yeah, you can barely hear it. it was Sweet. Pretty fun. Oh. Chips in the door. Oh, where was that one now? Uh, I don't know where I've got this one. It's... <laughs> no, seriously, it, when I had the mistake and everything got, uh, I found this. It's like one of those galaxy opals. It's not one that's in my pendant. I got a pendant one. In it. This one was floating around. I'm like, well, when did I get that one? When did I lose it? Let me sit back. Quite a little collection of opals now. Those are huge, MJ. Oh, look at that. Well, that's my biggest one. Uh, Jacob's yeah, that green flash. They're nice. Oh yeah, a couple I have some really pretty blues in them. Yeah, I like, like that piece. Red. Yeah, I'd like to. Have yeah. Those. <laughs> but I'm okay yeah. with the orange. A purple. nice orange red flashy one. That's an orange purple combination is pretty expensive. <laughs> Smash that like, everybody. I appreciate y'all coming hanging out with me on Sunday. It's no big deal over here. We're just hanging out talking about rocks. Okay. I want some lightning ridge opals. Yeah. Hint, hint, yeah. Brad. Birthday's coming up at the Yuba. You're going to be there. Well, <laughs> I think they're not too keen about people taking opal out of the country. Things. So Wednesday you panning that uh salad, huh? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wednesday night. And uh Patreons will get first dibs when the bricks go available. So be on the lookout for that too. There's a Patreon on the video right now. If you're on the page, you can watch the full the full length video before I get in there and chop it up and make it exciting. I try to. So it was a pretty good day on the creek. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go out and do some more. And soon, like AM, maybe. You know, go out there. I got a lot of places I want to check out. Water's flowing right now. So it won't be, if we keep having decreased rain, it, it goes away fast, even with one, one rain a week. 
it goes away quick. For sure, if I went tomorrow, I wouldn't be going in the feeders unless I was planning on panning. Might run an RPE. Maybe a few quarter inch. A few quarter inch, you can run it. Okay. I mean, yeah. But that's uh, that shoot swinging for the fences. You can see it's hard digging and you gotta move a lot of rocks. You need suck tube and Eileen. Be in there and tear it all out and get down. You never you might find a spot that ain't been tore out in 70 years somehow and find something really good. You never know. You might do all that work and find out somebody cleaned that out four years ago. But most people don't do it. That's a good thing though. Most of the prospect I can I can be working a hole and see that somebody come around and, and, and poked around, but they kind of poke in the wrong places most of the time. Who are you talking to out there, bud? Myself. <laughs> Rambling on. <laughs> I'm hoping he's on the phone, not talking to himself. Okay. Sometimes it happens. I'm going to think, Megan, though, you got to get to the special box, and it's going to have to be looked through again, for show. Um, raspberry quartz, that just came up. I mean, what is this piece? Dolomite, raspberry quartz, they're pretty similar. Kind of can be. I don't know. It's pretty. I might do some cuts on that or do something with it. it looks like it's pretty stable and it looks like that inside that's some nice jimmy look to it. It'd be interesting to see. There's a few things in here I want to I'm gonna work with for a show. Appreciate it. It's good looking stuff. Nice piece of calcite. Nice. Serious. There's some green in it. There's too much light. You see a little bit of red at the bottom? Yeah. Birdie. I gotta get the right angle on these things. Oh, I remember. You got to use a thing. Sit it up like that. Let's see if this changes things. Green. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. I appreciate everybody coming hanging out over here at the Bonanza Shack. We got some cool stuff. Be sure to tune in on Wednesday because we got duck. Duck? Duck? Somebody <laughs> say duck. She was yelling at me. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, that's uh, that's a Mexican calcio, right? In the in the rock, see it's in that rock right there. Can you check it out? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think I got it in a pay dirt bag. I need that. So that's why I don't know exactly where it came from. I do a pay dirt bag, but once every week. I'm sorry, they got they've got a little jumbled in my can't, can't make it out. 
We need to crush this one day. That'll be fun. Oh, there's some nice ghostly green popping off. All about the angles. So uh we'll probably chill out in the uh in the bonanza shack here for a few minutes after we close down and just have a jibber jabber. And uh if you wanna come join us, there's a link. So until next time, get in the freak and get back over, get up on that mountain, meet those rocks. Christmas break. See y'all soon. See you Wednesday, Monday. See you soon. See you, everybody. Later, MJ.